And our oh, biking around today. Or outside of Austin today, maybe like 20 minutes outside the city. I'm just checking out some random easy trails. Oh, well, the past two days, I haven't really done much of anything. I caught up on a lot of sleep. So today I'm just going out riding, exploring. The moment you get on the walking path without knowing it. Today I'm going to talk a I'm just gonna let you know who I am. <laughs> Introduce myself. My name is James. I'm 22. Born and raised in or, Central Florida. And before I traveled, I used to work uh, security at a mall. It was awful. I was a mall cop. Mall copped it up for a while and then did this journey. I mentioned it in another video, but growing up I, I always loved bicycles and scooters and anything with two wheels. I always wanted a dirt bike, but we lived in a like a suburb kind of area. So dirt bikes weren't very popular in that area. I never got one. None of my friends had dirt bikes. And growing up, even after high school, I never I wasn't friends with anyone that rode and none of my family rode. So I eventually just uh, saved up the money and bought a Kawasaki Vulcan 800, a 2000. Got it for $2,300, which uh, I, I was really happy with that price. Not very many problems with it, but I rode that until. I rode that for uh, three months. I bought it and then uh, after I bought it, I sold the car for, or I sold the car two weeks after getting the bike. And then all I lived off of was the bike. And it was awesome, I loved it. Did it for three months in Florida where it just, it rains every day at a random time. So I was wet all the time and I, I was still worth it, man. It was so much fun. Although I wouldn't do it again. It was definitely a fun experience, but never again, my friend. Yeah, did that for three months. Heard it about maybe like 6,000 miles in that time. About three months before, uh, before a car was at a stop sign. I was going down a, like a back rural road and the car didn't see me coming. And as a result, he uh, pulled out in front of me and uh, clipped me on the uh, on the right side where the exhaust were. The exhaust system was completely crushed. I got ejected from the bike, uh, broke my back, and uh, although I will say I am a fucking badass because uh, of course at the time I didn't know I had broken my back. But I got injected into the oncoming lane. I was like, you know, I ain't sitting here. Like, I'm getting out of here. So, walked out of the road into the grass. Called my dad, called my work. <laughs> let him know I wouldn't be in for a while. Luckily, there was a woman there that witnessed it all. And the, the driver of the car was an 80, either an 84 or an 86 year old man. Never met the guys. Never, I never heard an apology. Either way, got in a motorcycle accident. Broke my back, and uh, I did get some money out of it, and that's how I'm affording this trip. Once I'm done traveling, I'm going to pick which state I want to move to, decide which uh, where I want to live. I do, I do splurge on a few things, you know, the things that, you know, like a nice hiking jacket, and that wasn't even nice as Walmart. Thank you. <laughs> Come on your left.
<laughs> Get her. Punch her in the throat. That was a violent little bastard. So the reason I'm always wheeling on this bike is uh, growing up I always had pretty bad like Walmart and Target bikes. I mean they worked, but uh, like the brakes were absolute shit. That was a fact. So you can't really get to a balance point when wheeling. So Mulder have a bike with freaking hydraulic brakes. I'm good. So I'm finally learning how to balance point. Still working on it. I can get there, I just can't hold it. It's beautiful here. <laughs> 